Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I am sharing this birthday treat holder. It could be for anything. Um, I just made it a birthday one because I thought it was super cute. I love the sentiment. It says party till the cows come home. And it has little cow tails in it. And I actually used a Velcro to close this. Um, it has three little cow tails and I got these at my Dollar Tree. I just happened to see them and I thought, oh, that'd be super cute um, to go with this little stamp set over the moon. I love this stamp set and I just wanted to share something else from it. And I am using this cow here, but you can use this one. You can actually even use this one. Um, whatever you like. It's just so cute. So I am using this and we gave him some balloons to hold and so this is what I'm sharing and I'm also doing a little bit of a sneak peek we have some new dies and these dies are the ornate frames dies this is coming September 4th which is just around the corner in our holiday catalog now these go with um, one of our new stamp sets I didn't get the stamp set but I believe that it's the Monster Bash Bundle. Um, I'll put it in the video here, so it, if it's that's not accurate. But these are the dies, and they are awesome frames. And I just got the dies because I thought they'd be great for doing um, treat boxes and bags and, and stuff like that. Some are stitched, some aren't. Some have this little filigree around it. And we are actually using this one out of that too. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 frames. And this is actually a tag. So it's really a great deal for all of those. And um, I really love it. I actually did on my Facebook Live the other night, I did some Halloween treat bags. And I used these as well. All right, so let's get started with this one. It's really cute. You don't even have to put the little window in it if you don't want to, but I thought it was cute to show the little cow tails inside. All right, so what you're going to need for this is a piece of 10 and a half by 3, and I am doing pumpkin pie only because I had some scrap and I wanted to use this. You can use whatever color you like. And then you are going to need two pieces. These are two and a half by one. And I'll show you what we're going to do with those as soon as we get to that point. <laughs> All right, you are going to also need a piece of Whisper White to stamp on. And we're going to stamp our cow on that. And again, I'm just using some scrap that I had. And then you'll just need some scrap colors for your balloons and I am using this balloon punch that we have here all right so let's get started scoring this I'll grab the simply scored and you are only scoring on the ten and a half inch side it makes it super quick and easy we're gonna score this at one one and a half five and three quarters and six and a quarter so that is it for scoring. Really quick and easy. And if you um, if you don't want to um, emboss it, you don't have to emboss it. You don't have to put the frame in it. But we are going to emboss it with this Pinewood Planks Dynamic Embossing Folder because it's so cute and he goes it goes so well with the cow. So I thought I would use that for this. So we're going to emboss this top part and then we are going to cut the little frame into it. We can, You can do it either way. You can cut the frame first and then emboss or you can emboss and then cut the frame. So I am going to emboss first. So we're going to put this in there and it's going to go in this top part right here. So you're only embossing that top piece right there. And this is a dynamic one, so you don't need two plates. You only need one. So 
So look how cute it is. It looks like little wood planks, but I thought it was super cute for um, this little one here. So now I need to grab my magnetic platform and another base here. And then we are going to put the window in there. So you can put it on either side. I'm going to just put it on this side. I need a little bit of sticky note to hold this still. So I want to make sure it's pretty even. And then we're going to run that one through. And then we are done with the big shot. So this part you don't even, if you don't want a window, you don't have to. Oops. I'm actually pulling that off. There we go. I'm going to keep that on there so the magnet holds it in place. And then we are going to sharpen all these score, score marks. Alright, so now we have our basic box here, but what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to score this at one inch on each side. I should have done this when I had this up here, but so we're going to score it at one inch. We're going to turn it around, score it at one inch again, do the same on this one. And that's it. We're going to sharpen those and then we're going to be ready to put them on our little box here. I'm going to use wet glue for this. So we are putting these on the inside here and this is what's going to pretty much hold our little cowtails in there. Now you don't, this part you don't have to do if you want to glue them in. You can glue them in. Um, I like this. Like You can use some snail or whatever you like to hold them in place and then just close it up. But this makes it a bit sturdier. So I like this. And this made it easier than trying to score and cut and waste a lot of paper. pull these up. Let's scoot that one over a little bit. And make sure these are to the edge there. even decorate this if you if you want to. So let me grab a couple of the cowtails. There's quite a few in this bag and for a dollar these are great little party favors. Now this one I'm going to use some I think I'm going to use some snail to I think I'll just use snail to hold them all in place. And just put a little bit here and I just put a tiny bit you don't really need a lot and it just keeps them still so they look cute in there all right so that's that now I'm going to use the little velcro that I always use and I get these at um, Walmart so we're going to just put one right here and then you need the opposite side. They have two, there's two, and there are two different ones. And I'm just going to put that on top of there. We're going to line this up so it's lined up right. And then you are ready to go. Really quick and easy. All right, so now let's go ahead and stamp. And we're going to get our whisper white. We're going to stamp our cow right here with Memento Black. 
we are going to color him with our blends and I did fussy cut him but I'll speed through all the fussy cutting because I know you've seen me do this lots of times so we're going to color him first you can make him a dairy cow you can make him any kind of cow that you like but we are going to just make him like a regular um, dairy cow and it's I'm just quickly coloring I'm not doing anything fancy here you can even have your kids do this part they're so easy it's so easy to we're gonna do whoops The dark for his ears, nose, and then I'm going to just do the light. I'll tell you here in a minute. It's light and dark pink, petal pink, and then I am using um, for his body. I'm using light crumb cake, and then for his spots, we're using dark soft suede. Okay, so I have him all colored. I am going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and speed it up again. And I am going to just fussy cut this little guy out. Okay, so you can see a little cow is all cut out. Isn't he adorable? I just love this little cow. So I am going to use some dimensionals, and we are going to put, put him on first. And then we're going to just punch out our little um, balloons, and we are going to be done. All right, so we're going to punch out the balloons. I'm going to just use the scrap that I used before. And I'm just I'm just punching the little balloons. And this is Daffodil Delight, I think, Pool Party and um, Petal Pink. And we're going to stamp on this little balloon here. We're going to stamp the party till the cows come home with the Memento Black. And then I'm using Baker's Twine, which I believe I cut two inches. Um, let's do two and a half. So just cut three pieces, all the same length. And then we're just going to use some snail on the back of these to hold our balloons down. to put let's do the pink one there and what I'm going to do here is I'm just sticking one little glue dot like underneath so all of these get attached they stay in place there and then we're going to do the blue one Sorry if I got a little bit out of camera there. I looked up and then I realized. And then this one we're popping up with a dimensional. Right in the center. 
And I'm going to cut that a hair shorter. That was a little bit too long. I'm going to stick that right where that glue dot is. And then we're going to just make an itty bitty tiny bow. For on his tail like he's holding it. And again, I'm going to use a little tiny glue dot to hold that on. Right there. So there you have it. He's all done. Isn't that adorable? I love this cow and I thought that was perfect when I saw the cow tails. I thought it would be super cute and fun to do. So I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. I hope you all have a blessed one, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye-bye.